Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is Jan 15, 2022. Let's talk about top stock to the heavy short ratio. I know off late it's a little bit difficult to trade heavy short ratio stocks. So what we'll do in this segment is let's look at how to spot some of these names properly. I also added few fundamentals so you can really benefit from it. Let's uh, go from there. So with that, we'll start with the market update, then jump into top stock with a heavy short ratio. We look at all top stocks here. Uh, then we'll go into a little more uh, filtered list here. This filtered list will look at top stock with a positive gross margin. This is always a little bit better because there is a positive gross margin. So we are filtering it down as you can see here. Then we'll take it a notch higher and let's look at stocks with the positive gross margin and also positive sales growth and low RSI. So with the low RSI, that makes sure you get uh, stocks at the low price here. Stocks are sold off. Then let's look at an uh, even better way. We look at positive gross margin and sales growth, low RSI, as well as low valuation. So these are uh, this is one of the one of the best way to grow your portfolio. Uh, if you scan through this list properly and go from there. And then finally, let's look at heavily short stocks with very good financial and growth grades from Morningstar. These are good ones to really look at and buy them, take advantage of those and go from there. Finally, let's look at top stock with a heavy short ratio where TTM squeeze meets the heavy short ratio. As many of you know, John Carter made a good name by introducing TTM squeeze. But when there is a heavy short ratio, as well as TTM squeeze, these stocks have to move, they have to move fast. Let's look at that list also and go from there. So with that, let's jump in here. First, let's look at a few stock news items and go from there. So from a stock news item perspective, we got feds here. They're saying uh, they're taking action for inflation here. And we have to expect three to four rate hikes, um, you know, this year. So we got to be careful here. Normally, we don't want to bet against the Fed. Fed is very powerful. So we got to be a little bit careful here. And look, we got Dow Jones dropping 200 points here. So even for the week, Dow Jones industrial average and major averages are you know, almost flat. So we got to be careful. There are some up days, there are some down days. So we got to be careful. And many of you who are holding short stocks here or stocks with a heavy short ratio, maybe you know, holding the bag at this point. So we got to be careful here. You know, Choose better quality names that we'll talk about here and go from there. And as you can see here, the U U.S. consumer sentiments soured. So we've got to be careful here. So consumers are a little bit uh, not so happy because there is a soaring inflation um, and in all the prices are higher. So we've got to be careful here. And finally, JP Morgan Chase, uh, their profit came below and the revenue dips here. It's one of the best uh, bank, but they're also having some tough time here. But looks like Wells Fargo did okay. Um, as you can see here, Wells Fargo went higher. I think, you know, they are they are a little bit coming from a, a not so great situation. That's why they're going higher. So with that, let's jump in here and look at a few more items. So let's uh, now let's look at market update from Thinkorswim platform and go from there. As you look through here, we got uh, futures market here. Uh, look, uh, futures are really trying to think through where to go here. Um, last few days or last uh, week or so, look, it's almost flat here stock market, uh, especially S&P 500 did nothing much here. So as you look through here, we got uh, you know, markets are really trying to see where to go here. And it's uh, just trying to, it's around, around uh, say here, 50 day moving average here. It's trying to see where to go here. So next stop is on 100 day moving average, as you can see here. We'll watch that carefully. There is a chance it can uh, hit 100 day moving average like it did a while ago, as you can see here. And if it breaks the 100 day moving average, next stop is 200 day moving average. I'm hoping that will not happen, but we'll keep a close watch. If Fed uh, shows the aggressive tone, it can come below 200 day moving average. That will be a good buying opportunity, but we got to be careful here. And look, NASDAQ is a little more weaker. NASDAQ already breached 100 day moving average. It's uh, now trying to bounce off of 100 day moving average, as you can see here. So with all these uh, high growth names are uh, taking a back seat here. 
that's why nasdaq is really coming down now it's below 100 day moving average next stop is 200 day moving average we got to be careful on the positive news look here volume is increasing here that's a good news here in both s p 500 as well as nasdaq and then finally we got dow jones industrial average that's a little bit a little bit stronger here as you can see it's bouncing off of its uh, 50 day moving average and it might be slightly touching 100 day moving average but generally it's a little bit stronger as you can see here so i think it's a uh, there are good industrials we, we can look at but i hate to chase the stocks that are going higher we should be looking at stocks that are sold off here with the good profit potential and good performance so with that next let's look at uh, rty russell r2000 here low low cap stocks look russell 2000 is uh, you know squarely in the negative territory here bearish it's uh, below its 200 day moving average and volume is uh, kind of you know it's uh, flat here so with that uh, we got to be careful with russell i think russell is a great one to bottom pick here cherry pick and buy good stocks here so with that let's uh, look at um, a bond market here see what's bond what what are the bonds telling us here so let's go here as you look through the bond market let's uh, come through as you look through here bonds are really struggling uh, look uh, we got a bond market here big big drop here it's uh, picking up a little bit but still big drop here um, so on the contrary we got um, interest rates interest rates or yield as we call it it's going higher uh, as the yields go higher uh, there will be rotation out of growth names here. That's what is going on. Yield is going higher. Stock market is going lower. That's what is going on here. Look, uh, oil is doing well here. We could uh, look at some good oil names, but um, I hate to chase stocks going higher too much. So that's why you got to be careful. It's almost at the top, as you can see here. So that's why you got to be careful. It's almost um, at its top. So we, we don't buy at the top. It's good to wait for a little pullback here. So with that, let's uh, look at um, gold here. Look, gold is trying to make its way higher. So anytime gold is a little bit lower, we should buy some gold as a hedge. It always pays off very nicely. Still, gold is, uh, you know, as you can see here, it's uh, not nowhere close to its high here. So I think gold could be a good one on the down days here. So with that, uh, let's uh, also look at skew here. So you got a good idea what's going on in the internal mechanics. So with that, let's uh, look at the skew. Uh, let's look at a big uh, one day one year skew here and go from there so as we look through here uh, we talked about uh, s p 500 as you can see s p 500 in the yearly chart is going nicely here a uh, higher highs that's doing well and uh, from a wix perspective wix is trying to think through here nothing nothing significant it's uh, slowly making its way higher as you can see here but you know slowly not not too aggressively and if you look through the VIX here, VIX is trying to decide what to do here. Let me make it a little bigger so you can look at a good picture here. Let's uh, maximize this here. So we got a one year, one day chart. Let me make it uh, maybe five years so you can, uh, or two years so you can look this a little carefully here. Let's say two year, or let's make it three years so we can uh, look at uh, the drop back in uh, um, 2020. As you look through here, um, Look, we got uh, VIX here. Uh, this is back in 2020 when the stock market co market collapsed. Look, VIX, uh, sorry, skew came down big time. So when the skew comes uh, down big time here, stock market collapses big time. That's what happened back in uh, you know back in March, February, March time frame. But we had a good heads up. You know, VIX uh, skew went higher. It's a big heads up for us. End of 2020, um, you know, skew went much higher. Uh, look, the level is about uh, above 150. The moment VIX uh, tops above 150, be assured there is something is up here. You got to be careful. Uh, you got to have some money ready to take action. And then, as you know here, uh, we got uh, COVID-19, stock market dropped, uh, skew dropped big time. And then stock market went up, we had a nice V-shaped recovery. And then we had again a fall again in October, and then it went up. Right now we are at a low point here. Look, right now we are at a low point. Um, as you can see here, it's about uh, 133. You know, at 133 levels, we are good here. No big deal. I see a nice bounce here. Look, it reached as high as 170. That's our heads up. Hey, stock market is going to roll over. Promptly it rolled over, as you can see here. It had some nice uh, upswings and downswings. Right now it's uh, a low, 
33 is trying to have a small upswing here. So I see a bounce opportunity here from this point onwards uh, as it goes uh, above 150. I'll be careful, but it's got a nice uh, runway uh, to go higher. So on the down days, it's good to sort of do some dip buying and go from there. So with that, what we'll do is we'll look at one or two more names here and go from there. So what we'll do is we'll look at a few stocks here, uh, not not too many, and uh, get a flavor of what's going on here. Look, we got Apple. Apple is a uh, bellwether, as many of you know, and Apple is uh, trying to hit its uh, say 50-day um, moving average here. It's a stronger one, as you can see here. Look, on the balance volume is also going higher. So Apple is good to buy on down days, even though it's a you know two plus trillion dollar company. It's uh, doing well. It's got a lot of revenue streams, including good revenue uh, service revenue stream. Microsoft, on the other hand, it breached its 100-day moving average already. Look, this is 100-day moving average. It breached its 100-day moving average. We got to be careful here. Next stop is 200-day moving average, but I think uh, it's also trying to bounce here. It could be a good one here. Even low RSI here. Look, RSI is 37. Microsoft is sold off here. So on the down days, it's good to buy some Microsoft. And then you got Amazon.com here. Look, it's uh, down, down, down here. On the balance volume is also going down. I think it's trying to show a small pickup here. I think this is a good one to buy and accumulate. I'd been buying Amazon.com as well as Microsoft on down days. It's a good one for the long term. And then you got Facebook. Facebook, as you can see here, a little bit stronger. It's in the tight trading channel here. And uh, as you can see here, um, it's uh, on the balance volume is trying to stabilize and rise. So Facebook is a good one here. I think even though government officials summon some of these companies, I think Facebook is in a better position. I would be a buyer of Facebook on the downturn. So with that, what we'll do now is we'll go back to um, heavily shorted stocks and get a quick update here. So as you look through here, um, from a ETF perspective, what ETFs are telling us, S&P 500, as you see here, it's almost at its 52-week uh, high, just 3.2% below its 52-week high. So understand it's a stone throw away from 52-week high, we gotta be careful. And uh, it's down in 10-day and 5-day, so the direction right now is downward. And on the other hand, QQQ here, it's uh, downward. Um, even in one month time frame, it's down. So that's why you got to be careful with the QQQ here. Buy some good names. One thing I love doing off late is uh, look here. Um, pay attention to IV percentile here. IV percentile in these major indices are down. So when the IV percentile is down like this, you could uh, sell some way inside current stock price, you know, very, very low price put options at low strike price, much below the current stock price, and earn some good, um, you know, good uh, premium. That's what I've been doing in some of these ETFs, especially like SPY, QQQ is one of my favorite to do that. And also, as you can see here, IYR, very high IV percentile, as well as you got SLU, and we got uh, some some of these names here. I don't look at uh, HYG because there's not too much premium, but some of these names are good ones. You could uh, do something along those lines here. And look, as you look through here, we got uh, many of these ETFs are in a negative territory here. Uh, as you can scan through short term, there is some uh, issue going on here, with the exception of probably XLE. XLE is going gangbusters, doing great, as you can see here. So I would be selectively buying some of these uh, areas like QQQ here, and even Bitcoin, there are some great Bitcoins you could buy, you know, stocks, uh, Bitcoin stocks like BTBT, BT, Marathon, Riot Blockchain, and we've got Healthcare, you could buy some good names there too. With that, let's jump in here, look at a few more ETFs. As you look through here, we've got a few more ETFs. Look, we got a few of these areas. Look, uh, biotechnology, down big time. You could buy some great biotech stocks at these levels here. As you scan through here, look, very low, uh, IV, uh, very, very low uh, RSI here. So that's why you could pick up some of these uh, good biotech names here. 
And industrials are, you know, firing on all cylinders. Look, uh, IU is, uh, RSI is 57. That tells you they're doing great here. On the other hand, retail stocks are good buy. There is some Omicron fear. Um, that's why, um, you know, all these ret retail shops are doing not so great here. You could pick up some great re re retail stocks here. And you've got a few more are areas like solar sold off completely. You've got uh, cyber security sold off completely. And we also have financial fintech sold off completely. You could look at some of those names and buy some of the stocks in those areas. And let's jump in here and look at uh, stocks with the heavy short ratio here. So this list is uh, basically all the stocks with the heavy short ratio with the volume greater than 1 million shares. So what I've done is I've done a little differently this time so you get a good idea on what stocks you should uh, buy when there's a high short ratio. <clears throat> With that, uh, as you can see here, what I've done is I've introduced a few more columns here. Look, we got uh, Altman Z that tells you financial stability of the company. The moment Altman Z score is below uh, 2.8. That means it's not great. I've indicated it, that with the red color here. The moment you, re you see red color here, be a little bit careful. These companies are uh, not great from a financial perspective. There's a fear of bankruptcy. That's why you got to be looking at Altman Z. The moment you see red here, understand there's a chance these companies can go bankrupt. So keep that in mind. And then you got Piotrowski F score here. I introduced this one also. Now, the moment you see here Piotrowski F score lower, like say one or two, be a little bit careful. But if it goes above say four or five, those are the better companies. Uh, so you got to be keep keeping that also in mind. Uh, one and two, a little bit careful. But um, above four or five, it goes all the way to nine. Those are good ones. And then you got here Morning Morningstar financial grade, as you can see here. You got uh, financial grade, growth grade, and profit grade. Keep that in mind. You don't want to look at stock with the low grade here. Uh, focus on a little bit higher grade here. Maybe A, B, C is okay. But F, be a little bit careful. Sometimes, you know, early stage companies, growth companies show profitability as F. That could be okay. But um, when it comes to financials, um, and even growth, uh, be a little bit careful, go after a little bit better grades here. Then I also introduced the overall grade here. The overall grade, higher the better. You know, think of it like a, you know, a grade or a score. The higher score, the better. Uh, if As you scan through here, if you see very low score, like BFRI here, maybe uh, be careful here. That's not a good one to buy. You know, given it's got a low Altman Z score, it's a candidate uh, for bankruptcy here. And financial grade is F here, low overall score. That tells you it's a red flag probably don't go after it whereas if you see something else like uh, ISIG here that could be a better candidate here um, but as you can scan through here it's got an Altman Z score of 4 here that tells you this company is not going to go bankrupt anytime it's a good one it's got a good score uh, it's in green so that's how you know you can look at uh, these uh, grades here um, and you know give a it will give a quick idea what short stocks you can buy and play the short squeeze game. So with that, let's jump in here. <clears throat> As you look through here, I you know highlighted all the companies with a high short ratio. Look, uh, keep watch uh, here. You got short ratio, uh, where it's a short ratio. Um, you got short ratio right here. Look, all these companies have got very, very high short ratio. So you could, uh, you know, see here it's in a descending order company at the top here has got highest short ratio. And with that, uh, we can look at a few more here and go from there. Uh, look, we got, uh, let's focus on a little bit stronger candidates here. And look, we got ISIG here. It's got high short ratio, uh, which is 50 here. And this one has got a little bit better uh, one month and one year performance, positive as you can see here. That's the good news. And it also has a good uh, Altman Z score. That's also great to see. And got a little bit higher score here. Higher the better. So this is a good, little bit better candidate here. I would uh, skip uh, stocks with a lower Altman Z score, uh, red uh, for most part, and go after the better ones. And as you scan through here, we've got a few more with positive ones here. Look, we got uh, two more here, Blink Charging and BTBT. 
you know, both are good ones from a Altman Z-score perspective. These companies are not going to be- go bankrupt. Nice Altman Z-score tells you financially they are uh, stable, and they are also okay from a you know from a uh, Piotrowski F-score. It's also better. It's uh, more than four. That tells you it's uh, stable. And out of these two companies, obviously BTBT is a little more stronger, as you can see here. It's got a little bit higher overall score, so that's a good one to look look at and buy. Take advantage of this uh, whole situation here. As you scan through here, you got BTBT right here, and look, it's got a 55 overall score, and stock is uh, starting to go higher in the shorter term. That tells you it's already having a short squeeze here. Given RSI is still low, you could take advantage and uh, buy some BTBT as crypto goes higher. This will do well. And then you got a few more. I will not drain through the slide. You know, as usual, focus on the stocks with a good uh, overall rating and also good, uh, you know, financial and morning star grades. So we could look at one or two more here and go from there. Look, we got one more here with the better grade. We got uh, H. Uh, HRTX Heron Therapeutics, biotech company, as many of you know, has a nice uh, growth grade here, which is A, and a nice, oh, this one has got low Altman Z score. This tells you this could be susceptible for bankruptcy, bankruptcy here, given their Altman Z score is uh, negative 5.1 here. And you could look at a few more here. We got uh, Workhorse, as you can see here. Workhorse, as you scan through here, it's got a good grade here. It's got Altman Z score 3.3. It's not going to go bankrupt. It's got relatively okay grade in the overall score. Higher the better. This is the middle of the pack here. It's uh, it's okay. And then you got a few more as you can scan through here. So look, we got uh, one more with a nice growth grade here. And uh, look, uh, Altman Z score is negative. That tells you this is susceptible for, well, for bankruptcy here. You got to be careful. And we got one more here, BZ. Uh, look through BZ here. Um, this one is, I think it's a Chinese name. It's got a good financials, Altman Z score here, but uh, no overall score. And it's been going down off late. You got to be careful here. <clears throat> So this is how I, I would uh, take advantage of these uh, growth grades here and go from there. So now what we'll do is we'll look at a few more names here and uh, uh, go from there. So look, we'll uh, go into next list here. It's a continuation. All these stocks have got a high short ratio, as you can see here. Nice high short ratio. As usual, uh, keep watching the stocks that are going higher in the nearer term. For example, we've got VTNR trying to slowly go higher in the near term, as you see here. And this has got uh, um, 26 as the overall score, which is uh, which is not bad here. You could uh, take a look at those names here and go from there. When you don't see an overall uh, Altman Z score that tells you it's not available as of now here, which is, uh, which is okay, the company could be a little bit newer. And then you got Bed Bath & Beyond. It gets a good grade, as you can see here. It's got a nice uh, 4 4.2 Altman Z score that tells you this company is not going to go bankrupt. This also trying to go higher in the near term. This could be a good one for a short squeeze play uh, because it's going higher. Company not going to bankrupt, uh, not going to go bankrupt, bankrupt here. Profitability is F here, as you see here. Uh, negative, uh, let's see. Um, the net margin is negative, that's why it's a profitability negative right now. But there's a chance this is, this is again having a short squeeze already here with the nice uh, Altman Z score, that's a better candidate here. So you can look at candidate like this here. Look, we got one more here, Camping camping World here. As you look through Camping World, look, it's got a nice overall high score here, 88. And stock is going lower currently. And uh, as you can see here, Altman Z score uh, is 3, which is good, more than 2.8. That also checks out. You could buy that also for a short squeeze here. And as you scan through overall score, we got uh, one or two more with the, there is one high here, Fu2. Fu2 is again, um, is, I think it's a Hong Kong um, based company here. Look, it's got a relatively okay score in the growth here, but the red flag is Altman Z score here. Financially not that stable. It's also susceptible for uh, bankruptcy according to this uh, grade here. So that's why you've got to be a little bit careful here. Looks like this one, on the contrary, it's uh, going higher in the near term here. So, you know, understand it's got a little bit uh, a negative uh, financial grade here that tells you it's susceptible, susceptible for bankruptcy. 
and then we got a few more as you can scan through here uh, we got uh, you know we got aehr one of my favorite at these levels here um, stock came down tumbling uh, last week it's got a nice financials uh, altman z score 19 so the company not going to go bankrupt here stock is still uh, going down i'm buying selectively slowly adding to my position here and it's got a okay grade from a um, you know, from a Altman Z score uh, that tells you it's a pretty stable here. And Piotrowski F score also tells you it's good here. Financials are improving. And, you know, only profitability is low, but otherwise it checks out. That's a good one also. So with that, let's look at a few more here and go from there. I would, uh, you know, keep attention to these uh, grades here so that we get a good idea. Look, there is one with high gr um, grade here, high overall grade. Uh, I think we got uh, right one here, Dick's Sporting Goods. As you look through Dick's Sporting Goods here, it's got a nice overall grade and stock is going higher in the near term. So you could take advantage of this and uh, buy some Dick's Sporting here. A little higher price stock here, but uh, there is a very high chance this will go higher. Um, Q1, there is a nice... Uh, uh, financial um, Altman Z score, it's uh, good. And also Pietro F, F score indicates financials are improving. Very nice uh, grade eight here. So that's how I would uh, look at these things here and uh, trade accordingly. And also we got one more here, Marathon Digital, not too bad. So you could uh, look at this one also here. This also gets a overall 38 grade, which is uh, better than many of the others here. And look, it's trying to go higher in the near term. You could look at that one too here and go from there. So that's why I would uh, take advantage of uh, these grades here. Um, you know, given a market is a little bit different, dif different this time, I thought it's important for you to understand financially the company is stable. If it's red, you know, try to be a little more careful. But if it's, uh, you know, a green, then you could uh, go after those names here. When the Altman Z score is not available, that means the company may be a little bit new. That's why it's not available yet. So with that, let's jump in here and uh, look at a few more um, stocks here. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll go after a quality here and we'll look at stocks with the positive gross margin. So what we're doing now is we are going after better companies here, filtering down the list and going after quality. So with that, let's jump in. So as you look through here, we got the list here and uh, look, we got a few names here. Um, be careful when the Altman Z score is uh, negative, like first two. Um, you know, in this market situation, you could just ignore the first two here, given it's got negative Altman Z score. That's why companies are susceptible for bankruptcy here. I would skip those two. But look, we got next two here, Blink Charging and BTBT, and even Tattooed Chef. You know, those work here in this situation. Look, they got nice Altman Z score, tells you companies are not going to go bankrupt here. And at least first two here, they're showing some nice uh, short squeeze opportunity, blink charging and BDBT. You could go after those two here. And BTBT has a nice Pietro Scaf score, higher the better, it gets a six here. It goes up to um, 10. It's a good one here, you could uh, go after that and go from there. And you got you know, keep watching. We got a few more here. We got one more BZ. We talked about this one. Nice uh, Altman Z score here, positive. And then you could look at a few more here with the uh, look. There's a Git GitLab here. This is one of my favorite stock here. Um, Wall Street does not like these type of names um, off late. But look, it's got a nice uh, financials here, uh, stable from a financial perspective. And right now it's uh, going negative. Um, in one day, five day, one month, you could take advantage of this and buy some Gits like GitLab slowly and go from there. And then you got Bed Bath. We talked about this. That's a good one here. And keep watching. We got one with a very high, um, very high overall uh, overall rank here. Camping World. You could uh, go after that one too. And even AEHR. We talked about it. It's uh, pretty okay here. Nice uh, Altman Z score here. You could go after that one too. You know, it'll give you a little bit better idea for you, um, and you could uh, go accordingly. Look, folks have been asking me about Tiger. Tiger is good, but uh, look, Altman Z score is a little bit uh, lower here. Uh, many times financial companies will have a little bit lower Altman Z score. That's why you gotta be careful, but uh, it may be okay. It's having a small bounce here. So that's why companies like uh, Tiger, Fuchu, they typically tend to have lower Altman Z score, uh, which may be okay, but uh, be a little bit careful. I like this one to be in green and more than 1.8.
uh, actually more than 2.8. So with that, let's jump in here, look at a few more. So we got a few more as you can scan through here. Uh, look, we got a top line, top of the name here, IQ. Many of you know this company here, Cheney Stock. Look at the Altman Z-score. It's a minus nine that tells you company is not that uh, stable from a financial perspective. Growth is okay, as you can see here. But look, it's having a small short squeeze type situation here. And um, um, got a lot of debt on the balance sheet, as you can see here. These are the names you got to be careful. High debt and uh, Altman Z-score is 0 0.9, susceptible for bankruptcy. I would avoid such names here. Instead, you go, you can go after names like Dutch Bro here. Look at Dutch Bro. It's got a nice uh, financials. Altman Z-score is a good one here, 4.1. But this one has got a little bit higher price to sales ratio, not too bad. I think it's a good uh, coffee chain, as many of you know here. You could take advantage and buy some Dutch Bro slowly into this weakness. And as market improves, this can also go higher. And as you can scan through, we got a few more. Go after nice ones here with nice Altman Z score um, and nice overall score. As you see here, we got one more here. Um, let's see here. Chain or data. So chain or data is a very low price stock, as you can see here. Overall score is 40. That's uh, much better. Here, even though Altman Z score is lower, look, Pietrowski F score is higher. That tells you the books, financials are improving for this name. So such scenarios, when Altman Z score is low and Pietrowski F score is high, I would uh, still look at those candidates slowly here. Um, this one chain or data, as you can see here, it's uh, going lower in the shorter term. So that's why you got to be careful here. But if it stabilizes, if it stabilizes, it can have a nice uh, bounce. And see, we got a few more as you can scan through here. Look at uh, those names with nice uh, financials here. On these days, Wall Street wants at least companies with nice financials. And you could go after such names here. We got one more here. This one has got a little bit uh, higher price to sales ratio. Not too bad, but you got to be careful. <clears throat> and go after names uh, that with the nice uh, in nice swing in a one day, five day MMAT, Meta Materials. It's got a nice uh, swing here. But look, the problem is it's got a high price to sales ratio. Valuation is sky high. So that's why you got to be careful here. Um, on the other hand, we got uh, one more here as you can scan through here, which is the Clovius Oncology. Clovius, as you can see here, it's uh, trying to go higher in the shorter term. But look what's going on here. Altman Z-score, it tells you these folks don't have enough money. Uh, you got to be careful with that one too. But Pietro CF score is a little better here, 4, which tells you it's uh, not that susceptible for bankruptcy. But still, given it's got a high Altman Z-score, I, I will be a little bit careful because uh, financially not a stable company. And as you scan through, we got a few more here. Keep watching the stocks making a small improvement here, like American Eagle. Um, it's uh, as you can see here. It's, this is uh, making uh, oh, this is not making. It's making a small improvement in one month here, with the Omicron fears. This is uh, trying to see where to go here. You could uh, look at that name also. It does not have any financial grade yet, as you can see here. And we've got a few more as you can scan through here. You could uh, look at some of these names. Look, some of them have got nice Altman Z-score here. And look, we got one more skills. Skills, as many of you know, very controversial play here. It's got a nice financial. It's not going to go bankrupt. Nice 13.5 Altman Z-score here. You could probably buy some skills at these levels here. It's trying to go higher in one day. You could probably slowly start buying some skills. It, it's, um, it's got some good financials, as you can see here. And then we got a few more here with nice overall score. Look, we got uh, Ollie here. Ollie is a you know, bargain outlet, as many of you know here. Uh, it's got a nice uh, overall score and nice Altman Z score here. Um, I think this one is a good one to buy slowly into this uh, downturn here uh, with the high short ratio and low price valuation here. Price to sales ratio is very, very low, as you can see here. And we got one more here, right blockchain. Look, it's, uh, it's a winner. It's got a nice uh, overall score here, 77. Very good uh, score. That's a good one here. Nice growth here, which is uh, A grade. Financials is good. If this company not going to go bankrupt. You could look at that one too. So with that, let's look at a few more. <clears throat> this is the continuation, as you can see here. All have got uh, higher short ratio. Um, 
look short ratio is still higher you know about 10 percent as you can see here and keep watching the altman z score go after the stronger candidates as you can see here um, and you can um, you can go with the, some little, little bit stronger candidates those will do and if you look at this one your cpop looks like cpop has got uh, this is uh, not going to bankrupt but look it's not doing well here cpop has been going down so you got to be careful with such names here even though altman z score is good here but stock is going down i would avoid such names go after the ones which are bouncing up a little bit like the one here but look altman z score is negative for many of these names here you got to be careful go after the better ones with the better altman z score you got catapult here i know many of you like this stock Look, that's got a little bit better financials and overall grade is also better. You could look at such names. Uh, I know it's going down off late, but there's a chance this can go higher given there is a low price to sales ratio and also there's a you know good financials with the Altman Z score nicely in the green here. And then got a few more. Uh, look at the stocks that are going higher slowly. We got Sorrento and uh, Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic uh, came down tumbling as you can see here very high price to sales ratio and it's trying to make a small bounce I think it can bounce slowly here it also has a good financials it's not going to go bankrupt good financials as you can see here for Virgin Galactic and then you got a few more here we got uh, Tellurian one of my favorite here this one has got uh, let's see here nice 4.6 Altman Z score and nice growth here you could uh, go after that one too and real real also might work as you can scan through here real real i think problem is uh, financially it's not stable here even though there is a growth uh, and financially it's not stable i want uh, both financial stability as well as growth otherwise it's a little bit problematic and we've got global blood here it's a negative uh, altman z score that's why it's not stable you should take uh, take a look at this and uh, trade accordingly when the times are good you could just go after stocks that are going higher in the near term but now it's good to look at uh, altman z score also and make sure financially company is doing well so with that let's jump in so now we let's go to look at uh, you know better uh, names here so as you see here these uh, these stocks have got uh, positive sales growth positive gross margin low rsi tells you stock is sold off here low i mean high um, uh, volume stocks are a little liquid here and low valuation that tells you you know valuation is pretty good here let's jump in here look at this list this is a better way as you see here we got the list um, and keep watching as usual we got um, top few names you can ignore it especially altman z score is low here but look, we got BT, BT, we talked about it, it's a good one here, you could go after that, nice uh, Altman Z score here. And then you got a few more as you can scan through here, look at Chewy, it's also a better one here, stock is coming down, but look, uh, financially it's stable, and it's got overall rating which is 26, which is higher than most, you could uh, go after such candidates here, even though it's going down off late, uh, it can go higher, it's got low valuation as you can see here. <clears throat> and then we got a few more as you can see here with the better um, you know better uh, financials here look at the uh, camping world this also works here nice overall rating 88 uh, you could take advantage of these uh, and buy them slowly um, and go from there and you know you got a few more as you see here keep watching the overall growth grade here i think there's one more we talked about china data already and we got one more here uh, sunrun Sunrun as you scan through overall it gets a good grade but the problem with Sunrun oh it doesn't get a good grade here it's a 19. I think Sun Power is a better one here but look Sun Power has got a little bit high uh, low Altman Z score here but I think uh, it's a better one as you see here you could uh, take a look at Sun Power here to a $20 stock here it's trying to go higher look uh, it's already having a small short squeeze here uh, even though Altman Z score is in red look Pietroski F score tells it's improving its financials it's uh, you know above four um, you know above seven eight is much much better but it tells you it's uh, better here you could uh, go after that one too here and even uh, Altis ATUS it's also okay here even though uh, Altman Z score is lower look Pietroski F score tells you financials are improving it's a nicely uh, seven here which is very good so with that uh, look at some of these names um, and go from there 
And look, we got uh, Stitch Fix here. It's also, you know, better one. Um, as I look through Stitch Fix here, it's a... Uh, it came down tumbling as you might be knowing it's got nice financials company not going to bank go bankrupt so you could uh, look at stitch fix here and buy slowly and go from there um, and we look at a few more uh, stocks like evfm as an example i would uh, avoid look it's got a very high negative 25.2 altman z score tells you financially not stable company is susceptible to go bankrupt so with that, let's uh, jump in and look at a few more. So look, it's a continuation here and keep watching short ratio, all very high short ratio here. Um, and as you scan through here, um, we got uh, comp you know great companies here. Look, we got names, um, keep watching the um, overall score here. Uh, GBT has got a good overall score, but problem is Altman Z score is lower. I would uh, ignore such names here. And few names are going higher as you can see here. We got uh, LTHM, um, it's a lithium stock as many of you know here. It's got nice uh, financials, looks financial grade. Altman Z score 7.3 tells you it's uh, not gonna go bankrupt. And I like this high um, Pietro F score here. You could take advantage and buy some LTHM. It's already having a small squeeze here. It's a good one for you. <clears throat> and as you scan through, you could uh, look at a few more names here. And stocks like Dynavax here, it does not have a Piotrowski F score. That's why it shows zero right now. But as you scan through here, Financials are okay here, degrade, growth is good. You could take advantage of this one too here. Look, it's already having a small short squeeze. You could uh, buy into names like uh, Dynavax also and go from there. And we've got a few more as you see here. Uh, Clean Spark, one of my favorites. It's also a good one here. It's got nice uh, um, Altman Z score. That's a good one here. And overall score is also not bad. You could go after that one too. So I would uh, you know take a look at these things also given uh, you know, market is uh, looking at financials and fundamentals of late. These uh, these uh, uh, columns will come in very handy. And look, we got a few more here with nice uh, overall grade here. We got, uh, see, we got a few names here uh, with the Coles, ANF, and RH. All have got nice overall grade here. And they all, all these companies got nice financials here. And look, one of this company here, ANF, is having a small short squeeze already. You could take advantage and go from there. <clears throat> so with that, uh, keep watching. We've got one more Whirlpool here. I'm wondering who will uh, short Whirlpool. It's a great company. Look, very nice overall rating here and has a high short ratio. Um, you could take advantage of this and slowly buy some Whirlpool. It's a great company and uh, go from there. Look, low valuation also. So with that, uh, let's uh, jump in. You could also take advantage of Redfin here. Redfin has been coming back off late, high short ratio. Piotrowski F score is uh, pretty stable here, above 1.8. That tells you that will also work here. Even though it's not rock solid, it, it also works here. So with that, let's jump in. We got a few more as we scan through. Uh, use the same methodology. Um, you know, look, keep uh, watching uh, the Pietro's uh, Altman Z score here. Names like the one here, we got uh, NVT, a uh, little bit not so great from a financial perspective, but go after the ones with better financials. Look, we got one here with the Revolve uh, group, which is, a, you know, which is a good one here, nice financials. And uh, stock is tumbling down, as you can see here. As this stabilizes, you could, uh, you could slowly start buying some Revolve, given it's got nice uh, financials here. Altman Z score is 17. And overall, you know, score is also higher. You could go after such candidates here. And look, you know, DDD here, again, a good candidate. You could look at this one too here. It's a nice uh, financial grade here, uh, 6.2. That tells you not this company is not going to go bankrupt. Nice overall score. And this company is also trying to have a small short squeeze. You could go after such names here. This will work. It's a good one. It's all, it also has a nice small valuation, very low valuation here. I would, uh, you know, look look at these things here, and that will help you much better. And then we got a few more here. Look, we got Square, and uh, some of these names with nice overall score. Out of this, um, you know, A G E A N, a little bit weaker with the low, um, you know, financially not stable. But Square and Thor both both work here. Look, Square. Um, 
AGE and he's having some short squeeze as you can see here. But um, I think it, it also works here. Look, uh, uh, Piotrowski F score is telling you the financials are improving. It's above five. So that's why this, this might also work here, given there's a nice high score and it's having a short squeeze already. And then you got a few more as you scan, can scan through here. Keep watching ones with a better uh, growth grade here, financial grade here, Altman Z score. Those could be the good ones for you. So with that, uh, let's jump in and look at a few more. Look, we got one more here, PAGS, PAGS, which is a Brazilian company. Look, nice overall score here. Even though stock is going down off late, um, and I think it's a good one. You could slowly accumulate this. Uh, this can also go higher and go from there. So with that, let's jump in here and look at uh, next list. Next list is really about best way to grow your portfolio. So here what we're doing is we are looking at uh, all the other criterias and also low debt. These companies have got, got very low debt here in addition to low valuation. So this is a good one to grow your portfolio for conservative folks who still want to play short squeeze game. So with that, as you can see here, let's jump in. All right, so we are... Uh, we are here, let's look at a few names here, we'll uh, not drain the slide. So as you can see here, we talked about few already. Um, stocks like BTBT, a good one here. I would uh, slowly avoid the ones with the high, I mean, I mean low Altman Z score. But if the Piotrowski score is higher, for example, chain or data, you could still make a small play here that tells you financials are improving with the higher Piotrowski F score here. The stock is going down of late. If you want, you could buy some or you could ignore, given it's a Chinese name here, you could ignore and avoid that too. And as you scan through here, we got some very good uh, financials. Look, PRTS, it's a good one here. It's uh, doing nicely. Look, it's got a nice Piotrowski F score. Stock has been going down off late, as you can see here. Uh, it's got an overall score 19. I would love to have a little bit higher Piotrowski F score. Um, that's why <clears throat> it's not great, but it works. And we've got a few more names. Keep watching names that are going higher. Look, we got uh, BTBT we talked about already. That's a good one. Having a short squeeze already, as you can see here. And as you scan through here, uh, keep watching the higher higher grade here. We got one more. Uh, let's see here. That's uh, GBT. We talked about this one already. The problem is uh, it's got a lower Altman Z score. Tells you financially not that stable here. And as you can scan through, we got one more here. Pow uh, Ammo, it's got a pretty okay grade from a Altman Z score perspective. Uh, stock is going down. Once it stabilizes, you could buy some of this also. This also should do well. <clears throat> so with that, let's jump in here and look at a few more names. So it's a continuation, all these names as you can see here. Nice high short ratio. And also if you look at uh, um, the debt to equity ratio, it's a lower than one. So these are all good names here. You could look at uh, these names. Keep watching Altman Z here. That tells you few companies are better. Uh, like the one here, Revolve, as it stabilizes, you could buy some Revolve. This should do well with the nice uh, uh, Altman Z score here. This should work. And for a few more, as you can see here, a DDD, even IDEX, it's also a good one. Look at IDEX, very small price stock here. Maybe for not for um, long-term holders here, but it's got okay financially. Um, and you could this also can work here. Um, we could um, make make that work too. And we've got a few more as you see here. We got Berkeley Light. Many of you asked me about Ber Berkeley Lights here. This company has good financials. It's not going to go bankrupt, as you can see here. Nice Altman Z score. Pietro CF score is not great, but um, this can also work. It's uh, having a nice comeback, as you can see here. And we've got a few more, as you see here. Go after the better ones here, like PAGS works here with the better, um, you know, better Altman Z score here. So with that, let's jump in and look at a few more. All right, now we are talking about the last segment here. This is when high short ratio uh, meets uh, high short ratio and good uh, financial grade. So these are the better ones. You know, if you are a little bit conservative, you should go after the ones with the good financial and growth grades. Those type of stocks will work in this, this situation right now. As you can see here, it's a short list here, not a huge list at all. Uh, keep watching here. All of these gets a nice uh, 
you know, either grade A or B or C uh, from Morningstar that tells you, you know, they, those names will work here. Keep watching here, Morningstar grades. All of these gets uh, at least uh, A or B or C grade here from a financials and growth perspective. And I would, uh, I would avoid maybe the ones with the negative, um, you know, or a red in Altman Z here and go after the ones with positive. So stocks like BTBT, um, Parts.com, Stitch Fix, they all work here. Look, they got positive Altman Z and OK grade here. And you could look at a uh, nice growth here. We got few with nice growth grades here. Look, we got a uh, few names here, all nice growth grade here. And OK, Altman Z, they also work here. You could go after those candidates, better candidates here. And then you got a few more with the nice uh, overall score here. You got both Revolve and Thor. Look, nice uh, score here. All these names you could take advantage. And they also have a good Altman Z score here. You could take, take advantage of those names here. Even Angie works here with the nice 3.5 Altman Z score. <clears throat> and we've got PAGs we talked about that also works. So with that, let's jump in here and look at last segment here. The last segment is all about uh, when short ratio meets um, uh, TTM squeeze. When this happens, these stocks have to go higher or lower pretty quickly. Um, so that's why I like these names here. If you look at the ones with the better prospectus, you could uh, make some good money in the swing trading. So with that, let's jump in. So as we look through here, this is again a short list. Uh, look, we got a few names here. We got uh, top of the list here. We got uh, a four, shift four, as many of you know here. It's a fintech play as we scan through here. And this company has got a good Altman Z score 2.3. Company is not going to go bankrupt. Uh, stock has been going down off late, as you can see here. And from a TTM squeeze perspective, this has a three day squeeze here. So stock is going down right now. I say, you know, if it's uh, slightly going higher, it's a good candidate. But um, if you're a little bit longer term swing trader, you could slowly get into shift four here um, and go from there. Uh, look, it's got a little bit higher debt to equity ratio. That's why for short term swing trader, this is not gonna work. Uh, but if, you're, if you have a little bit longer term, uh, you, this could work here especially because Wall Street does not like uh, some of these uh, high you know, high debt candidates with the negative net margin. That's why this could work in the longer term, but shorter term, this will have some trouble. And then you got a few more as you scan through. A few companies have already went up nicely here, like Reliance uh, here. It's, uh, it already had a nice short squeeze. I would not go after this at this time here. Uh, look, this one has got a, uh, as you can see here, this one also is a negative net margin company, but went high quickly. So at this time, it's good to wait on this one and not jump off it. So we got a few more as you scan through here. You know, keep watching the stocks that are going higher in the short term here. Look, we got one here, Alto. <clears throat> this can also, you know, work. Look, it's got a three-day squeeze. But the problem is it's got a higher, um, it's Altman Z score is uh, red. That tells you financially not stable. So I would uh, stay away in this market and go after the better ones here. Look, the next one here, Confluent, I think this is a better candidate. It's got a nice uh, financials here. Look, Altman Z score is uh, squarely in green here. Uh, you could go after this one here. It's also trying to go higher. And this can work here, even though it's got a high price to sales ratio. TTM squeeze indicator is uh, set uh, on a weekly basis. So this can go higher, even though it's not for the folks who are uh, value oriented, given price to sales ratio is very high. And as you scan, scan, scan through here, we got a few more making higher. We got Regal. Regal, the problem with this is, uh, you know, it's uh, not a solvent. It's um, Altman Z score is six point negative six point seven, so this can uh, candidate for a bankruptcy. You got to be careful. Uh, I would avoid such names here. And we got a few more as you scan through here. I'll go after the ones with the nice Altman Z score. Uh, you could uh, do well in such scenarios. Um, and stocks like MP Materials, as an example, it already had a short squeeze. I say at this time, you know, you could uh, skip this one and go after uh, other candidates like Stitch Fix here, which is uh, slowly having a short squeeze. You should go after such candidates here. <clears throat> and as you see here, um, we got a few more names. Just take a look and see if some of these work for you. I think. Uh, 
you know, in this market, it's good to look at, uh, you know, Altman Z-score uh, to make sure it's financially stable. You want match match group here, works here. Even though it's coming down off late, you could slowly buy. It's a little bit high valuation, but uh, it can also work as it comes down a little lower. So with that, uh, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.